oftentimes begins with Dominic Cruz, but I'm gonna enter this guy in the discussion because he sticks and moves with the best of them. Gets the head off the center line, uses footwork and movement and defense to set up his own offense, and he stays so relaxed in there, Joe, because his defense is that sound and uses that defensive movement to create offensive angles. Very, very smart, sound defensive fighter who uses that to his advantage and figures to do that again tonight. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. His opponent is gonna need to keep his chin tucked and his hands up high. Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. This guy has one punch knockout power. And when a fighter has that kind of ability, it's always a big advantage. And now our kill the tape for this. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Big Danny. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 188 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And when the action begins, I look for the charge of Mario Yamasaki. So Mario Yamasaki, your third man in the octagon here tonight. You ready? And we are underway here live from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Oh, big man! Strong takedown defense there, Joe. Single leg attempt, no good. Oh! He's trying to pass here. Nice sweep, right into half guard. Hop over to the other side, he's got it. Take the back here. That hammer fist attempt is blocked. Now he's in full guard. Under three minutes remain in round one. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Sweet reversal. Looks like he's gonna lean back for a heel hook. He wants to get that heel underneath his armpit. He's gonna crank it. And, and there it is. is. Beautiful job in setting up this leg lock and getting the tap. Yeah, it's not every day in modern mixed martial arts where you see a fight finished by leg lock. A great display of technique there. Just the way he trapped the opponent's leg and ultimately forced him to tap out. Color me impressed. Let's see this ankle lock one more time. This is how it's done. Absolutely perfect technique here for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a heel hook. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase. And that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his...